So, so Seth, you know, obviously Edward Jones is, is a great firm and they've had, you know, tremendous success, you know, throughout the years, but I tell financial advisors all the time, just because a firm is a good, is a great firm, it doesn't mean it's necessarily, you know, the best fit for everybody. And I've talked about this many times before, but, you know, in the recruiting world, we tell recruits, you know, there's pushes that, you know, make a financial advisor potentially, you know, want to leave a firm. And then there's also pulls from the outside, you know, industry where financial advisors find things that are potentially really attractive, specifically in this example, you know, about, about the independent side. So, you know, what were some of the things that were going on at Edward Jones that were kind of a misalignment with your business and, and where you wanted to take it? Yeah, so I, Edward Jones is really, really great at a lot of things, and I like their culture. But at the end of the day, when you're a W two employee, um, you are not the you are not the client um, of, uh, of 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 whatever firm you're clearing to. You know, when you're an independent advisor, you are the client, and they have to focus on you know what's in everybody's best interest. And I just think that there's some of these misalignments. Um, so you know, I. I bought my first rental property when I was 23 and I bought another one when I was 28. Um, and I realized early on in a low interest rate environment that through leverage, you know, I could create some lessly correlated assets and, you know, use financial leverage to help build net worth. Cause I didn't know that I was going to be a level 10 advisor when I was 23 years old. I was just out, you know, pounding the pavement, knocking on doors. And they were really, really against kind of those outside business activities. So that was one thing that was kind of a, a hard situation for me is that outside real estate, even though I was a quick, you know, one of their quickly growing advisors and I had absolutely no compliance issues ever, um, you know, just the outside business activities, really, really, they gave me a hard time about. And then, you know, it's other little things like I was the first commercial historic building in the entire valley to put solar on top of my building. I got myself in the newspaper. I got myself on TV. You know, uh, I mean, I, I really kind of put it out there and um, I wanted my clients to do it because just, you know, financially, it made a lot of sense. And I came to loggerheads with Edward Jones, you know, about that. I mean, that, that, that was a, a big argument between us. And then it got all the way down to even CFP. Um, I have no idea what their stance is on it now. But when I was a CFP, they got to the point where they were, you know, there, there was this whole fiduciary uh, argument going on in our industry. And I was raising my hand. I'm a CFP. I want to be a fiduciary. I want to be held to that standard. Um, but Edward Jones did not want to be held to that standard. So they had paid for me to get my CFP. So they let me put comma CFP behind my name. Um, but I was not allowed to use the word planner or planning in an email because they said that that implied a fiduciary standard and they didn't want to be held to that standard. And all every email you send is scrubbed for all these words. So because I was, you know, had this real estate and they were always on me about that, they were scanning all my emails. And every time I used the word planner or planning, I had a, you know, an internal finding. Uh, and I, I was like, guys, this, this is ridiculous. Like the, the word planning is just a natural term that you use in the course of speech. Yeah. I cannot believe that y'all are getting on me about this. So, so those were some of the pushes. And I, I really, you know, from the harassment I received from that, I really should have left at least four or five years before. I, I regret not leaving sooner. But, you know, I, I, I've held almost every leadership position there. I've been the new FA leader. You know, my brother works there. My second cousin works there. I encourage them to work there. It's a really great firm for a lot of people. But um, if you are a W-2 employee, you, you don't really control your own destiny. And you're always going to have some of these issues of things that really shouldn't be issues at all.